Uh, hi. Uh, so this was work done jointly with uh, Song Yi Lin, and uh, we were co-advised by Subram Shumaji and Eric Leonard Miller at uh, UMass Amherst. So uh, let's go over the three main motivations behind uh, this work. Firstly, we wanted to figure out how high-performing models on fine-grained recognition would work on the somewhat related task of face recognition. So in fine-grained recognition, we use the uh, bilinear CNN model, which we had proposed uh, last year at ICCV and which held the state of the art for some time until other better met methods came around on uh, several data sets like cub and birds and a uh, couple of those. The second motivation was uh, without having the uh, million, uh, f labeled face data sets to the order of a million images like say deep face, uh, Google's data sets or Facebook data sets, in an academic setting how much uh, improvement or performance can we get using moderate sized data sets and thirdly, how much do deep architectures matter in this setting and how much would architectural innovations uh, matter when we have moderately, set, uh, moderately sized data sets at our disposal. So uh, let's focus on the task. Up till now, we had mostly focused on verification, like the flavor of label faces in the wild. You've got two images, you say if it belongs to the same person or not. Uh, what we focus on here is face recognition, which is on the left-hand column where given a probe or a query image, which could be a bunch of, which could be a number of images, we figure out uh, wh who the person is from among the identities enrolled in the gallery. And uh, we follow the uh, IR by Janus protocol, which was recently released, and they have pretty challenging imagery with a lot of uh, post variability. Uh, I'll go over the bilinear CNN model in short over here. It's basically a two-stream architecture where we take an outer product of uh, the last layer convolutional features. What this basically gives us is co-occurrence statistics. For example, uh, suppose you want to model the phenomenon of brown eyes. So if a, feature detect if a feature fires for the color brown and if another filter in the CNN fires for eyes, then the co-occurrence of these two would give you brown eyes. Uh, in, in, uh, and in a similar setting for a regular convolutional neural network, you need a separate feature for brown eyes, for blue eyes, for black eyes, for red eyes. Well, not red eyes, but uh, like for eyes. So in, in general, the coagrant statistics gives you better representation power given the same depth of, or power of a network. Right, let's go on. And uh, training it is very easy. You do not need any extra annotations over the, other than the image labels. Uh, we train an SVM, linear SVM classifier for each person in the gallery and then uh, we max pool features for video frames and uh, let's head over to results. We start with the VGGM model which is uh, fine-tuned, uh, which is uh, just the ImageNet pre-trained models. We get pretty low accuracies initially. We fine-tune it on a moderately sized data set called FaceScrub. It's got around uh, uh, 900,000 images. Uh, it's better. When we move over to IJBA train, which is uh, very close to the test distribution, we see uh, pretty good improvements. The bilinear CNN consistently outperforms the regular CNN on all settings. Uh, we exceed the baseline by a large margin. And when using massively external data sets like uh, that have become available nowadays, we see that the, uh, that the uh, improvement is slightly lesser because we need to fine tune the new bilinear model. You can see a couple of visualizations over here. We can see traditional, fa uh, like the patches that activate each filter in the CNN. Uh, you can see traditional features over here like smiling mouths, eyes, uh, noses, etc. You can also see a kind of a slightly unusual feature representation, uh, patches being picked up like hair, both on the, like beards as well as hair on the head. Uh, you've got glasses, you've got accessories uh, like the jewelry other things that can possibly help in identifying a person. And uh, well, thanks and any questions would be happy.